Welcome to Hot Topics. I'm Captain David DeMarco and today we're going to talk about the ABCs of home escape planning. With me today I have firefighter Brandon Cunningham who's going to talk about how to escape a home fire. But first, uh, as always, I'd like to introduce Chief David DiStefano who's going to talk about Young Hero Awards. Chief? Thank you, Captain DeMarco. The Student Awareness of Fire Education, or SAFE program, was adopted by Belmont in 1996. It is sponsored by the State Department of Fire Services and provides age-appropriate curriculum that trained firefighter instructors are able to present to elementary school students regarding fire and life safety issues. Since 1996, thousands of Belmont students have been instructed and five children have been recognized by the Belmont Fire Department and the Department of Fire Services for their bravery during medical or fire-related emergencies. Their stories include Jonathan, who as a fifth grader alerted the occupants of his three-family home of a fire. He then assisted his grandmother to safely exit the home by a secondary exit when their primary path was blocked by smoke and fire. Also Madeline who at age seven smelled smoke and informed her mother. She persisted that she thought there may be a fire until her mother thoroughly investigated the room and discovered a curtain resting on a hot light fixture that was beginning to burn. Madeline's mom was able to quickly extinguish the fire before it spread. Also, eight-year-old Holly noticed an odor of smoke when going to visit her friend. No one was home at her friend's house. When Holly informed her mother, she persisted until her mother brought her back to her friend's house, where she could now observe smoke coming from the home. Using a spare key, Holly's mom entered the house and found food burning in the kitchen. She called 911 for assistance. Also, Arda, who was nine years old, saw a fire on the porch of a house across the street. She immediately informed adults who called 911 and went to the home to alert the occupants. This action quickly allowed everyone in the house to evacuate safely. And finally, Lucia, an 11-year-old who was able to assist her 9-year-old sister when she cut herself while exiting through a glass door that shattered. Lucia provided immediate first aid and called 911. She remained by her sister's side until the fire department arrived. These stories are excellent examples of what our young people are capable of. The instruction provided by the SAFE program helps give these students the knowledge and confidence to make a difference when seconds count. Now back to you, Captain DeMarco. Thank you, Chief. Joining me here today to discuss the ABCs of home escape planning is firefighter Brandon Cunningham. Brandon, why is home escape planning so important? When a fire happens, you have no time to figure out an escape plan. Having a simple escape plan allows everyone to move forward quickly without thinking about it. Even more important is with children to practice these escape plans so that it becomes second nature if a fire should occur. Brandon, part of escaping a home fire is knowing how to crawl out of a house in order to limit your smoke inhalation, right? That's right, Captain. You need to practice crawling low to stay out of the smoke until you're outside. Okay, so let's take a look at a short video starring a friend of the Belmont Fire Department, Maddie O'Leary. Maddie's going to show you how to escape a home fire. The Belmont Fire Department recommends that when you sleep, close the door to your bedroom. This prevents smoke and flames from coming into your room. When the smoke alarm goes off, and wakes you up, go to the bedroom door. Use the back of your hand to feel the door for heat. If the door feels too hot, do not open. Place a blanket, sheet, or towel at the bottom of the door to keep the smoke out. Go to your bedroom window. Open the window and shout for help. Bang on the walls if you are in an apartment. Wait for the fire department to arrive and rescue you. Never, ever hide in your closet or under your bed. If you have a phone, 
Call 911. Now, what if your bedroom door is not hot? If it feels cool, stay low and open the door slowly, get under the smoke, and crawl out on your hands and knees. Stay below the smoke and crawl out the front or back door until you're outside. Gather with your family at the meeting place. If you are sleeping in your bedroom and your bedroom door is open, Get up safely, stay low, and close your bedroom door. Next, feel the door with the back of your hand. If it is hot, follow the same instructions for a hot door. If it is cool, follow the instructions for leaving the house. Get out and stay out. Go to the family meeting place. Dial 911 from a neighbor's house. Wait at the meeting place for the fire department to arrive and let them know that everyone is safe. Okay, well, there you have it. Thanks to, the, thanks to Maddie and the O'Leary family uh, for participating in this video and for allowing us to be in your home. Brandon, any final tips for Belmont residents? Sure. Remember, have working smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms and change those batteries regularly. Practice your home escape plan with the entire family so that you can be like Maddie and get out of the house quickly and safely. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Brandon. And we'll see you next time on Hot Topics. <laughs>